Welcome back to Filmonomics as Slated. I'm Steph Paterno, and this week we are looking at the Catch-22 of film packaging with talent while you're still looking for financing. And yes, it is a Catch-22 in that it's impossible to get talent until you have financing in place. And likewise, it's impossible to get the financing until your principal cast is locked. So what to do? Well, in that vein, we actually decided to go hear from three professional working actors to find out what it's like being on the receiving end of these talent uh, offers and availability checks. And also, as they are multi-hyphenates themselves, as actor-writers, actor-directors, and actor-producers, we wanted to hear how hard it is for them to go get their own films put together. So without further ado, let's hear from Peter Faccianelli, John Grise, and William Maypother. It's Still. always a, a chicken and egg thing because you, it's hard to get cast without the money. And it's hard to get the money without the cast. So it's like you try to put some pieces together with a couple of pieces of casting, but then you know the money's like, well, it's cast contingent on these roles here. And, but then you go to the agents and you're like, hey, would you attach your clients to this? And they're like, no, because you don't have the money, so I'm not sending it to the... It's really but it's <laughs> horrible when you got the money in the bank yeah. and you go to the agent and go, we've got the money. We yeah. can write the check right now. We've got it. And they're like, nah, I don't think they're available to read this right now. <laughs> It blows so your fun. mind, right? It's, like, what? it's almost like this sick game where the agents want to chase you. You know what I yeah. mean? Like you almost want to. I said at one point, I was like, "Well, let's just have an open casting session because if you send it to these actresses, then they all are like, oh, they'll read it, and then it, they start cutting up into your pre-production time. Like you don't get an answer for two weeks, and they're, oh, they're going to read it this weekend. Oh, they had to go to the market, and <laughs> you know, it was a farmer's market on but the Sunday. Minute, you're right, so, the minute you have call an yeah, open casting, the minute you're like, like you know what, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The minute you're like, let's do an open casting, and then the agents are like, can you, get, can you see my client? Or, you know, can you see my client? So it's like this weird or dating. Like, what happened to you? I thought we were talking. Yeah. I thought we were, we were playing ball here. So no. you, try, you have to create the perception of momentum to it's get them to. It's almost like you know, chasing okay. a girl. It's like, you know. Yeah. Totally. It's, it's like, a, yeah, you well, get, we'll see. I might be busy. It's a sick game because you should, you would think if you had the money, it'd be like, yes. But it's like, it's almost like they want to chase you in a way. It's weird. I wish there was a way to get to the people without being blocked off by other people. You know what I mean? That becomes very difficult. One answer that I would give, so from the actor standpoint of things I would change in the industry, there are a few things. But one thing that comes to mind is one of the most difficult things about being an actor for me is not only having to wait for the opportunity to come, which is why we try to generate our own, but the information vacuum that we exist in. In other words, you have to trust that your agents are uh, submitting you for things, that they are giving you the material that has been, uh, that they have been asked to send on to you, which we've already agreed that they don't always do. And um, that's, that's one of the most difficult things, is not only being able to reach um, other people, like you said, the cast, both you guys said that was the difficulty, but also knowing whether the people who are your gatekeepers are doing everything they say they're doing and they should be doing, and then the flip side of reaching others is allowing others to reach you. Yeah. One of the ways to, to break the chicken before the egg things, which I don't know why it's not done more, is if you're a financier, and uh, a lot of times they're like, well, I need, to, I need to know what the cast is before I can put the money up. And then you go to the agent, and they're like, well, we need the money before we can attach the cast, right? So there's a, that, that cash 22. But why don't the financiers say, okay, this is the list of actors that would press the green button for me. Now you, I will give you money to go and make an offer to these people. If they say yes, then I will finance the picture. You know what I mean? Because That's exactly what we did on my film. Yeah. That's, we, he gave us a you list. You get a list and you're like, these five, four or five actors and these two leads would you know, green light the movie for me and I'll be able to give you the rest. And then you go to the agent and they're getting a pay or play offer. Well, of course they're going to, as soon as you get a pay or play offer, it doesn't matter if it's $100 a day or, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. The agent has to give it to the actor. So I'll get scripts all the time that are like, okay, there's a pay or play. You have to, you know, I, I'll read it because it's a money offer no matter what it is. Uh, they, they just, it's like a golden rule. <laughs> if they're going to make a dollar, they're going to send it to me. Well, I don't know if that's comforting or disconcerting that it's that difficult for them as well to get their own films cast with talent. 
but it certainly makes me long for the day that uh, some sort of system will come along that can make availability checks a lot easier. Sort of like uh, an Airbnb for the film industry, perhaps? Hmm? Anyone? Anyone? Well, next week, I will be sharing an interesting segment with you where I recently traveled to South Korea. That's right, I went halfway around the world to attend the Busan International Film Festival and Asian Film Market, which were fascinating, to say the least. Some incredible interviews were had with producers and various industry executives in the Asian markets, and, but I will be saving all of that for next week. Until then, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to click over here to subscribe. Over and out. Thank <laughs> you.